Hey guys, welcome to another First Impressions. We are playing with brand new, unreleased Urban Decay. I almost said brand new twice. I'm really, really excited about this. I literally about did like a weird meltdown, but in a good way, like crying happy tears when I opened up a package that was sent to me, a pre-release of all of the goodies that are around the corner for holiday from Urban Decay. That sounds crazy. It is still sweltering hot outside. Pumpkin spice is not even at Starbucks yet. It's on the calendar for the 8th, 10th, it's on my calendar. So I'm just basically really flipping out right now because um, this is one of the most beautiful palettes. Just the, I just, I like the front of it. It kind of looks like an oil slick spider web business. Um, you guys know last year I did not like the Vice palette, the Vice 3, this is the Vice 4. A lot of you guys loved it. I personally thought the color payoff was a little bit choppy and chalky and I didn't like the packaging. There was something too like 80s about it and it was just kind of a turn off for me. But this one, just everything about it, I really like so far. The packaging I like. Um, when I open it up and I look at the colors, there isn't a color in here that bores me. I'm just like, oh my God, I wanna swatch everything right now. Everything in here looks really, really exciting. There are some satin mattes. There are 11 shades with micro glitter. There are colorful shades. There are more neutral shades. You really have such a nice selection and I am a sucker for jewel tones and there are a ton of them in this palette. Apparently the formulation on these shadows is a little bit different than their standard formula. It has a proprietary Let's try that again. It has a proprietary, why can't I say proprietary? It has a unique blend, proprietary blend. Basically, it's a really special eyeshadow that is not going to move around. Uh, these are supposed to have a formula that prevents fallout as well. I will be impressed if that is true. I don't know what kind of a look I'm gonna do on my eyes. I haven't decided yet. Um, there are a few shadows that I'm literally like, mm -hmm, like, <laughs> like very attracted to. Um, and I think I'm gonna go in that route, but I just don't know yet. I don't know. We don't know where this palette is going to take us today, but I am gonna have you come along with me throughout the day. We are gonna do close-ups in different lighting. I am gonna check in with you guys and uh, let's, get started. I'm going to start with the shade Flame just because it's like my number one attraction in this entire palette. I'm taking a 242 from MAC. I'm going to start in the center of the lid. Oh my god. Whoa. That's really pigmented. Okay, I'm going to take this all over the lid but not above the crease and just kind of pat and blend. I really appreciate that this is not like falling all over my face. I gotta say that. Cause this is pretty glittery and normally you would get a lot of fallout. Uh, I really like it. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go in the crease now. I'm going to take first a 217 brush from MAC and I'm just gonna pat that in the shade Bitter. And I'm just going to go right in the crease. Focusing on the outer edge, I've kind of gone back to that game lately where I don't bring so much color like on the inner portion. It's just, just where my mood is right now. So I'm just using circular motions, blending in occasionally and then kind of hanging out on the outer edge of my eye. Now I'm going to take the shade Delete and I am taking this on a Beled... Bedillium Tools. I can never say that. Oh my gosh. I It drives me insane. This is a number 765. It's angled. And I'm just going to pop this on the outer portion of my eye. Outer V. Hey 
And we're back and I have my, I almost said my lashes, but actually I just used the Supersizer Mascara from CoverGirl. I am foregoing the eyelashes today. You guys always request for me to like not go there every single time. So I thought even though this is a little bit of a dramatic or more dramatic look, we are skipping out on the falsies. Thumbs up for that. Uh, this stuff builds, so I did put a lot of it on and I think it works with this look. I did a nice wing liner. I I am thoroughly impressed with how everything blended. It wasn't a really tough job. And I have to say, whenever I apply makeup on camera, it is really tough to just like sit here and be still and not move. So I'm not out of focus. And I feel like I always do a better job doing my makeup like when I'm up this close to the mirror and I can like really like move around. That being said, I notice right away when a product is really easy to blend, when I can see that it's blending from a distance and things are just kind of meshing together beautifully and working together beautifully so I am wearing once again flame all over the lid bitter in the crease delete on the outer V and then I took framed on the inner portion of the eyelid and really packed that on there so that just a touch of that flame pink beautiful metallic micro glitter shade was popping through so it's not too overwhelming and then I did use that one underneath the brow bone as well and then I took bitter on the lower lash line and that's really it it wasn't anything too crazy I want to show you guys swatches of everything so let's hop to that let's start with the top row and right away my favorite of that top row is pandemonium um, swatches out incredibly beautifully has that micro shimmer in there once again feet down is all right grip is not my favorite it's not swatching too fantastically bones is beautiful holy crap I did not expect it to be like that it has this really interesting metallic business going on within it that would be gorgeous all over the lid really beautiful cool tone with a kick of something extra deadbeat it's like a really really intense black but it has a little bit of a satin finish to it next row down we have framed which is really easy to blend really buttery has a yellow beigey kind of undertone and i think it's just a perfect on the lid basic highlight type of a shade that's really necessary with the rest of the palette next to that we have fastball whoa oh my god that's really pretty next to that we have 1985 uh pretty i don't know why i'm always disappointed by purples i just expect purple to be i don't know i don't know uh oh okay this is gorgeous underhand reminds me a little bit of one of my Estee Lauder or NARS dual intensity shades it has that kind of a feel to it I bet it's really great wet then we have Harlot which is a gorgeous kind of metallic lavender shade this is really beautiful as well next we have Discreet which is actually really unusual it's a matte gray that I bet would give the same type of a vibe doing a look like this but with all cool tones where instead of using that beige yellow you could use this cool tone gray and it would do the same type of a thing so i really like that next to that is grasshopper this was the other shade that i was like mm, i love you um i have very like weird reactions to makeup where am i gonna wear this i don't even know but i just i want to wear this it is beautiful okay next to that we have c note i'm liking this row a lot I'm kind of feeling like a mermaid at the moment. Look at that, gorgeous. Next to that, we have Arctic. Okay, I just wanna like dive into this row and do some kind of a mermaidy. Maybe I can be like a mermaid for Halloween or something. Robbery, also really beautiful. Okay, so these all swatched out completely, perfectly, gorgeously. No dryness, no patchiness. Um, I'm really, really impressed. Okay, moving on to basically what I'm wearing on my eyes right here, bitter love flame love flame works really beautifully wet too by the way the shade low gorgeous you see a lot of micro glitter in the shade low next to that is crowbar i love mossy green shades and especially for fall it's a really easy fun shade to pull off it has a little bit of gold micro glitter and then the shade delete which is just a beautiful chocolate cool toned brown really easy to blend don't mind me um, playing around with my false tan today, my naked skin tan. I told you guys I was going to put this to the test. What's going on here? 
it like removes really, really easily. It's just a one day tan. So when I'm doing swatches, I'm literally removing all of it all at once. Um, I need to just do more of my loving tan tonight. It is on my agenda of things to do because I prefer that over what is going on right here. Ugh. All right, back to the palette. I like it. I think my makeup looks pretty. Let's see if it doesn't crease. Let's see how it wears. Let's see if we get fallout. I will take you throughout my day and then I will check back in a few times and uh, you know the drill. Let's do this, first impressions. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. It's kind of dark. I kind of can't see myself right now. It's actually quite beautiful. It's just, it's so bright that you don't realize it how is. beautiful you look. So sweet. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> you just rubbed my teeth. <laughs> Sexy time. <laughs> All right, guys, we are on our way to run some errands, and I thought I would do a check in. I am freaking loving this makeup look. I am loving it. Everything A to Z. I love how it blended. It is staying on my eyes really beautifully, and, um, yeah, I mean, I don't, everything is staying exactly the same. I don't really have like an exciting update. It's the same. Extreme close up. This is my mall check in uh, makeup. Still the same. Loving it. I feel like with eyeshadow, there's not that much to report until it starts going a mess, which it hasn't so far. So, hey. Look at that gold. Dear God, that's beautiful. All right, so I swatched myself a mess at Sephora, grabbed something for hot or not, and now we're on our way home. Why is it that I decide to go on like a no sugar kick right when they bring back all of the holiday like pumpkin spice? And then at Coffee Bean, they have salted butterscotch. What do I have? Salad. Salad. Okay, so the makeup, I have touched up my powder because I have been eating a lot. All of my lipstick went off, so I actually put on this Maybelline Blushing Beige. I really like it. Um, and then nothing on the eyes. Everything has stayed completely untouched on the eyes. I really, really like this. The only priming that I did was the typical thing I do with the Balm, Time Balm Concealer. I do that every day. I just cancel out all the veins on my eyes and then I go into my shadows and I feel like it helps them to wear longer and pop a little more. And I feel like everything is holding up really nicely. There's a little teeny tiny bit of an issue with the shade. Um, framed. It's a gorgeous shade, but it has worn off just a little bit. However, I have had this on pretty much the entire day. Like I said, it's around five o'clock and um, for the rest of the pink tones and browns to still be there really strongly, I feel is a good thing. I definitely will do this look again because I feel really good and you know that's what matters the most with makeup is how you feel about it. If you feel more confident and you feel like you look in the mirror and you're like, yeah, pretty, I like it. That is what it is all about. So I like this look. I'm definitely gonna repeat it. I am loving this so much and I will check back again with you guys in just a little bit. So this is the final check-in. Can you believe that it is 11 o'clock at night and I still have that flame shadow just like really holding true? Uh, the other shades have kind of died down a little bit, but that's to be expected. I do really like this palette. I think it is definitely for the win. These shadows are all brand new. I failed to mention that earlier. Um, they're brand new to the Urban Decay line. They are never before seen. They are not sold as individuals. They haven't been in other palettes. Um, so I really, really like that. I definitely am gonna play with Grasshopper and do some type of a mermaidy green mermaid something or other. Uh, yeah, I really love it. And I am gonna continue reviewing, swatching, hot or nodding, first impressioning palettes as they launch for holiday. There are a ton of them. If there are specific ones, let me know in the comments what you want to see reviewed. I wanna make sure that you guys have good ideas when buying palettes for gifts or for yourself. You do not need all 
the palettes that I'm going to be reviewing. Let me just like throw that out there. I know I, I just talked about the Stardust palette. I'm talking about this one. And I just want to kind of weed out the ones that are really just not worth your money and not really good quality and steer you in the direction the ones that are awesome and this one is awesome so i hope you enjoyed this first impressions thank you so much for hanging out with me i'm sending you so much love and i will see you tomorrow Mwah.